Hello to all my lively ladies, you're very welcome back. My name is Trish and you're very welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do a 30 minute total body workout. So this is our get fit at home workout and there's no jumping involved, so all low impact. Come on in now and join in here. I'm just getting my body warmed up. Just doing some step touches, moving off the spot and getting the arms moving as well. Okay, big deep breaths. Let's get those uh, muscles full of oxygen. Keep you going for your 30 minutes today. So I hope you're feeling good. If not, I guarantee you'll feel better at the end of this workout. That's it, good. Now let's change up the legs. Just give me another 10 here. Nine, eight, seven. We're going to take it back just to a march to transition. Six, five, four, three, two and one. Now just march it out and then we're just going to quickly do some side heel digs, okay? Or just little taps with your heel. Bring in your arms, that's it, come up because the more limbs we get going, the higher the heart rate's going to come up and the warmer you're going to get. Keep you safe. Again, you can leave this, just stay on the spot or you can move around your room if you prefer. Okay, are you breathing? Let's hear your big deep breaths now, right from the lower lobes of your lungs. It's no good to doing shallow breathing. You've got to get the air right down to that lower part of the lungs. That really does help to de-stress the body, okay? Keep you nice and relaxed. Good, now can you bring your arms up higher? That's going to bring your heart rate up a little bit more. If you have shoulder problems, stay down low, okay? Up and up. That's it, good. Now let's rest those hands on our hips. Give me four, three, two, and take it back to a basic march. Now into V, V step. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Now if you're feeling up to it, bend those knees a little bit. I'm leading here on my right. A couple more reps, and then I'm gonna change over to my left. Okay, so let the left be the leader. If you feel like you dominate on the right, be aware of that. First of all, it's good that you're aware of it and let your left lead some of the time, okay? Okay, let's do three more. Two, now get ready to tap that left foot here and then just change over, okay? So that little tap helps you to lead on that side. Good. Now, if you're bending your knees, it's getting a little bit too stressful or a strain on your knees come on up straight good work let's do four to go and we take it back into a step touch the move we started with three more two and last one now just again transition nice easy transition push those arms back stretch out your chest work your shoulders and a little bit into your triceps, that's it. Good, extending those arms behind you. Big, deep breaths, that's it, good. Relax your body. You can bring the arms up higher if you want to, increasing that stretch there for your chest and your shoulders, the front of your shoulders, good. No harm in that. Try and keep the tension out of your neck, though once those arms come up high, you can actually bring a lot of tension into your neck, so. Keep your neck relaxed, that's it, good. Now rest the arms, okay. Give me another four, three, two, and one. Now hold it out wide here, sit your hips back, and we'll just do a few squats just to wake up your glutes, hamstrings, and your quads. So that's your bottom muscles, your back of your thigh, and the front of your thigh. Now watch the knees, make sure they're not caving inwards. Send them out over your shoelaces or over your toes. Keep your spine straight, send that tailbone to the floor and uh, keep your head, your chest upright, okay? As much as you can. Don't look down at the floor, look forward. That's it, good. Squeeze those glutes on the way up and press the weight into your heels. That's it, good, you're doing a great job. Keep breathing. Now let's reach across. Keep your feet the way they are and reach. And just tap out the foot. That's it, good. Nice transition there. Keeping it basic. 
There's no harm though, bringing in a few moves that kind of challenge the brain, because <laughs> it is good to challenge your brain each day, whether you're doing crossword puzzles, reading, trying to work out something, working out, you know, simple sums or maths in your head, things like this. Just keep the brain ticking over, particularly if you've retired and you're not working anymore. That's it, good. Now let's big circles over the, the head here or up to the ceiling. Now again, if this is too much, make the circle smaller. Nice little moves. That's it, tap out that floor. How are you feeling now? You're feeling warmer, yeah? Ready to go. Let's go the opposite way, opposite way with the arms. That's it, good. Big, big circles, good work. Ooh, getting a few cracks out of this right shoulder today. All right, four to go. Three, two, and one. Now, I want you to keep going by just marching on the spot. Our first move, now we're working for 50, 10 today. So that's 50 seconds of work. 10, just really a transition move or to give that head a little breather more than anything. But um, if you want to, you can increase that 10 seconds to 20. Just come in, this will be an interval of 40, 20 for you. Or leave it out altogether if you're feeling really energized and do a full minute of each move. Okay, right, so I'm, what we're doing here is we're going to kick the leg across the body for move one and then we're going to add a shoulder press. Okay, little shoulder press for anyone that has problems. Um, maybe your heart rate comes too high when your hands come above your head or uh, you just have shoulder injuries. Right, let's march it out and we go together. Okay, we'll use our little timer. Okay, start. There we go. Right, so 10 seconds. So kick the leg across your body, shoulder press, and do your shoulder press, whatever range of movement that you're able to manage. Okay, so reach up. Now again, no need to tell you, <laughs> but the higher those hands go, yeah, the more out of breath you're gonna get. So just be aware of that. Good, you can work at intervals. If you want to, throughout your 50 seconds, you can lower your arms down or just rest them on your hips if you're feeling fatigued. Anybody that's maybe a little bit more advanced can add a light pair of dumbbells here. Increase that intensity. It's great for your bone health to add a little bit of weight into your workouts every now and then, okay, or at least twice a week is what's recommended to lift some weight. Very, very good for keeping the bones strong and healthy. Good, we're nearly there now. We're gonna shovel the dirt next. Okay, if you haven't done this one before, it's just like a type of squat type move with you throwing your hands behind you with control, of course. Okay, so you're gonna sit into a squat and throw the dirt behind you. Good, now you notice my spine stays straight. I'm not rounding my back like this and looking at the floor. I don't even know what this floor looks like. <laughs> okay, <sighs> that's it. Look forward, good. Now make sure your knees again are tracking out over those shoes as much as you can. That's it, good, send them out. Think about it, abs are tight. Pull in the belly button. Now again, you can speed this up and make it a little bit more cardio, or you can slow it down and really, really feel, keep the muscles under tension for a little longer, and you're just working on a more of endurance there. Good, either way, you're moving, and that is great. Okay, good work. Now, nice simple move next. We're gonna work our hip flexor, stretch out our glutes, knee raise, and then we'll get the pec decks going as well, okay? So, knee raise first. Arms up, open and close. That's it, good. Good work. And again, you can slow it right down. And really make each move precise, squeeze and release. That's it, or if you want to get your heart rate up, you're feeling like you really want to get out of breath, get a bit of a sweat flowing today, I think you will either way. So you can just speed up the move if you want to. Okay, how do you feel? Yeah, sometimes when you start working out, you feel a little bit sluggish. You're not really in the mood. I think the hardest part of working out is actually getting your gear on and getting going. But once you do, it's great, the endorphins start to flow and you're good to go. 
okay rest out there step touch now we did it in the warm-up so you're well used to this by now nervous system is really in tune with your step touching that's it now keep going let's get some arms done ready okay down down reach up pull to your hips nice huge huge big range of movement here great for your shoulder mobility your upper back keep the tension out of your neck that's it good this is too much for you little arms little legs okay that's it keep going pull right down to your hips come on let's have some fun Woo. feeling good now want to move four doesn't take long we've 12 moves by the way we're going to repeat them for one round to bring it up to 24 minutes for the actual workout and you can add on your warm-up good work okay side steps take your rest if you need it or join in now if you want arms in and out step it out to the side spine is nice and tall got your broomstick here there handy for me stuck down your exercise vest good that'll keep your spine upright oh the arms are on fire can I last 30 seconds or more that's it put on that little that little mental cap there just to get you through it if you're really really struggling just lower them down okay just do something to keep moving come on you can do this that's it we've got a squat one squat with knee raises coming next so really challenging the tummy muscles next good and you're not even going to crunch not a crunch in sight good floor crunches that is <laughs> okay so it is a squat and knee up squat and knee up and you can make it harder i know your arms are fatigued but you can actually pull your uh, uh, arms down okay if you need a rest you can leave the arms stationary in front of your chest it actually does encourage you to keep it an upright posture up good now you're working your abs from the bottom up which is a great way to work your tummy so squeeze come on engage your core first of all so you're really switching on that area of your body and then squeeze here at the waist good that's it come on you can do it you don't have to bring your knee that high good so if that's throwing your balance off bring your knee down lower or if you feel it's too much strain on your lower back don't go above your belly button with your knee raise that's it good okay travel high knees this is a great move next so it's just a high knee and travel you can add a little hop if you want to okay now I do have it listed as no jumping but if you want to yourself it's an option now I am actually adding just a small bounce here but my foot's still planted on the floor so it is technically low impact so I'm just using the elasticity here of my muscles to get up good and up and up got some low jacks and arms coming next so the arms for two out to the side and two out to the front next okay so a little bit of coordination with our next move move number eight don't forget to travel come on good and back and back watch now make sure you don't have anything in your way these travel moves there you go okay that brought the heart rate up now low jacks and then of course get this coordination here arms arms and then out to the front okay so one there you go have it now one two so arm goes the same way as your leg and then out to the front for two okay one two front for two one two front for two two front for two good two that's great work that's it you're great out there keep going don't worry don't worry if you make a mistake that's it just come in when you're done when you're ready one two up and up forward and back march and we're just going to tap the floor with our toe that is next less than five seconds good keep going come on to hear the beeper 
Okay. Now you're just going to go forward and back. I'm going to have fun with this move. Tap the floor. Tap again. If you've any dumbbells lying around or any obstacles, that includes the family pet. <laughs> Make sure you don't step on them. Good. So come on in when you're ready. You can have that little bit of extra rest if you need it. Tap. That's it. Good. Tap. Come on, let's have some fun here. And tap. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can bring your arms up and down and get that heart rate up. That's it. Good. Now, we have a low squat next with the legs coming in and out. Next move is a tough one. If your muscles are a bit fatigued for whatever reason, you're going to feel it with the next one. That's it. Good. Punch the ceiling. Come on. Work those shoulders. Keep the tension out of your neck again now. Keep your neck nice, nice and relaxed. Good. Well done. Okay. So out we go into a low squat. Now I'm going to get going, but you can rest out if you need to. Come in when you hear the beep or take a little bit extra rest. Just keep your body moving though. Don't sit down. Keep the heart rate elevated. Burn your calories. Come on. Good. That's it. Ooh, this is a tough one. Keep your back straight here, see? Back straight, whoops, I've lost my coordination. I'm moving off the spot. So that's one, two, there we go, I have it again. One, two, and out. One, two, and out. In for two, out for two. Can you hold this position if it's too much? Come up tall, okay? Ooh, I'm really feeling the, the thigh muscles here. And the glutes working hard, but I've less than 10 seconds. Good, come on, we can persist. Good. Okay, release yourself. All right, now we're gonna go forward and back. And when you get back here, we're going to do one, two, three, and four, okay? So let's go forward and back. And one, two, three, and four. Now, if those arms are too much for your shoulders, just go down lower. You can go one, two, three, and four, okay? Forward and back. Come on. One, two, three, four. That's it. Make your way forward. Make your way back. One, two, three, four. Good work. Forward. 20 seconds to go. Back. And one, two, three, and four. Keep going. Come on. You have time. Let's use it up. Two, three, four. Forward and back. And one, two, three, and four. Good work. Okay, last move, and then we repeat it all again. These are our giant step overs, okay? And then we bring the knee across the body. I'm getting a little dip in the middle there, a little tiny little squat, just to bring a little bit more cardio into it. That's it. Come on, join in. That's it. Good work. Down and up. Good. You can feel those heart and lungs working now. That's it. Keeping them healthy. Keep your chest up for me now. Don't uh, look at the floor again. You can look forward. That's it. Keep your eyes on me. Good. You can bring in some arms now. If you feel like you have the coordination, you've only 15 seconds left, then we're back to leg kickouts uh, with those shoulder presses, or sorry, legs crossing, well, yeah, kick out crossing the body. Good. Three seconds, two, and time. Okay, well done. So do you remember this one? Kick, kick, and then shoulders. All right, we'll go together in three. Okay, there we go. Kick and kick, reach. Now, if you're tired, you're just feeling a bit fatigued, you're feeling a bit breathless, pause the video. March on the spot even for one minute if you want to keep the video running. And come in for the next one, which is shovel the dirt. That's it, kick. Now, if you're feeling a little bit more um, flexible, round two, you can bring your legs up a little bit higher. Good. Watch your knee now, contract your thigh muscle there to protect your knee. That Don't just swing it out there in space. Good, control your kicks. That's it, good. Into your last 10 seconds. Come on, hang in. Reach up, reach, don't hyperextend your back as your arms go up high. 
Okay. You're ready to shovel the dirt. Let's open up those legs into a squatted position. I'm just keeping my feet moving because my heart rate's high. Okay, up and get it up over your shoulder, but don't lean back. So none of this, okay? Keep your spine straight or you'll have an achy back tomorrow. Good, reach your, throw it across. Now you can speed it up again. Squeeze the glutes now. Squeeze your butt cheeks, that's it. Squeeze, come on. Get some work for those bum cheeks. That's it. Good, we can develop what's called glute amnesia from sitting a lot. So it's good whenever you get a chance, wake them up and ah, make them alive, get them to work for you. Don't be letting the hamstrings do all the work. They do tend to take on an awful lot of work if the glutes are sleepy. Good, we're nearly there now. That's it, come on. Well done, well done. Now, your knee raise pet deck, do you remember? Move three. Come on, we can do this. Knee raise. Now again, if, if this hurts your back or it makes you lean back, bring your knees down lower, okay? You don't have to be bringing them above your belly button. You're still going to get good work for the hip flexors. That's it, good work. Again, you can bring up the tempo if you really feel like, yeah, I'm really into this now. Sweat is flowing. Good. Up. And up. Now if it's too much for you, you can lower the arms, you can lower the legs like I say, and you can go slowly, or you can actually even leave the arms out. There's lots of options, okay? For the rest of you, come on. Up and up. Oh, we're just there now anyway. Step touch, arm pull downs, okay? Now, I'll march it out with you here. Get ready, you don't have to, you can go straight into those step touches. Here we go. Ready, reach up, pull down. That's it, good. I want you to imagine that you're pulling something down from the ceiling. That's it, good, you're pulling two ropes down to the outside of your body. Again, make the move smaller, if that's all you can manage. That's good. Move off the spot if you like. Mixing it up a little bit. Watch out for any obstacles. Pull down, pull down. Good, come on, you can do this. Well done. So moving on to move five. Side steps with arms in and out. So the arms are really, really getting a good beating here with these two moves. Okay, rest them out, rest them out. March it out, right. You know your side step, we'll get the feet down first. Okay, get ready and come in now. Good, now, arms, push, push. Open up that chest for me, good. And you can make the move big, that step touch, but make sure, tune into your lower back. How does it feel? Don't, uh, you shouldn't feel strain there. Tummy muscles in for me, good. That's it, that's what we want. Push those arms back. Uh, if you make a fist, you might send some tension up to your neck. So just be aware of that. If you're, you can make it a loose fist, but be aware that you're not really, really squeezing your fist. Or if you're holding weights, don't be gripping them really hard. We don't want any white knuckles, okay? Loosen the grip, or you're gonna feel it. It'll travel up to your neck. Okay, keep going. All right. Whew. These small little things really do help. Squat for one, knee raise. Remember this, great tummy work. Squat, knee raise. Again, watch the height of those knees. I'm bending a little bit to the side here, just to help with the balance. Squat, knee raise, just a slight bit. And down. Now again, you can go a little faster. If you wanna really bring in that cardio work into this move. Sit, good. Sit down and lift. Sit and lift. We could hold a dumbbell here in goblet position out in front. If you want to add to your intensity, you might get away to even get away with even a moderate or heavy dumbbell or kettlebell or a medicine ball. It's good for this move. That's it. Good work. Now high travel knees next. 
Okay. And again, you can add that little, little hop. And when I say high, you're bringing them up high, but you don't have to. Down here is perfect. That could be high for you. Okay, depends on how your back is, how your flexibility and mobility of your around your hip and your hip flexors are. Now I'm just adding again that little jumpy hop. But my foot, you can see, look, it's pretty much on the floor. Good. Just imagine your head going up to the ceiling. Imagine you're on a trampoline or one of those little rebounders. They are actually great for your, your lymphatic system. So again, really keeps it healthy. Keeps your immune system healthy, doing these tiny little bounces. Good. Keep going, come on. Nearly there now. Okay, well done. Now remember your low jumping jacks. And arms for two, out for two. I'm gonna start with you. Okay, let's go. One, two, and out for two. One, two, and out for two again. Shorten the range of movement with your limbs. Or you can make nice big moves. One, two, watch your lower back there though. You can, you can feel like a little bit of a pull and a strain there. Just watch that once they go up over your head. One, two, one, two. Keep going, come on. One, two, and one, and two, that's it. Keep breathing for me now, don't forget to breathe. Good, we've got our forward and back, mar forward and back marches, or walks, and we are just gonna tap out the floor. Oops, I missed that one there. Okay. It's hard to talk and do those moves at the same time. Four and back marches with the tap on the floor, all right? Okay, let's go. Forward and back. Run those arms by your side. Good. Have a little peek over your shoulder on the way back. And don't trip over your feet. I've done it. Okay, forward and back. Forward and back. Now again, we, round one, we introduced some arms. You're welcome to do that for the last 20 odd seconds. Again, remember, you can always interval train within that 50 second interval. You know, 10, 15 seconds of a faster move or a move with arms above your head if you can. And then you can bring it back down. Good, just there now. Okay, march it out. Now remember the low ones. See how straight my back is? Legs in, legs out. If you got confused around one, just talk to yourself. So legs in, legs out, okay? In for two, out for two. Come up straight if your knees can't cope with those sort of bending moves. Good. Slight bend in your knee, don't never ever lock the joints out. That's it, keep a slight bend there, good in and out come on get those arms running by your side they are important they do help balance the body you're getting some work there for your shoulders and your biceps particularly if you're contracting a little bit there contract like you've got weights in your hand into your last 10 seconds come on hang in there good i know it's tough you're really feeling those thigh muscles working there Okay, now remember your forward, your back, and then uh, this guy here, your side steps for four. Okay, let's go. Forward and back. Now for four. One, two, three, four. And forward and back. And one, two, three, and four. Good. That's it. Reach, reach 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 reduce the range of movement with your arms if that's if this is too much for you here okay good forward and back so here two three even down to the floor it's good come on we're all doing it together that's it come on one two three four and back down you go one two three 
and four. Good work. Okay, into our last move. All right, well done. Big step overs, giant step over with that knee cross. Okay, so bringing you up to your move 24. Good. Giant, can you make it bigger this round? Sweep over, sweep it over. You can bring in some arms. This is too much, you know, make it smaller. Even leave out the knee raise. Okay, just step it across. All right, good. And over, and over. Good work, come on. Stick with me, you're so close to being done now. And you've done a wonderful job. You should be so proud of yourself. Keep that chest up now for me. Good. Just there now. Into your last 10 seconds. Come on. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep moving now. Even when you hear the beeper. Okay. Good work. March it out. Bring that heart rate down gradually. Now. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's push those arms behind us. Oh, that was great. Well done to you. That was a great workout. I enjoyed that very, very much. Feeling really like those happy hormones are bouncing around in the head now. Muscles really feel worked. Not overly worked. <laughs> but they feel like, yes, I've got a nice bit of movement going there. Heart is beating away now. That's it. Good. Oh, you can really feel stress hormones leaving the body, particularly if you've had a hectic morning or a hectic day. That's it. Good. Big deep breaths. Bring it up over your head. Stretch it all out. Up over your head. Stretch it all out. Good work. Okay, let's stretch out our calves. So again, one foot in front, one foot behind. Push your body weight forward. Open up that chest for me. You can actually even um, interlace your fingers behind yourself there. Now remember the calf, don't forget the lower half of the body. Press that heel in, push your body weight forward a little bit more and then lift your arms up. Okay, just be careful with the uh, shoulder stretch. Don't hurt yourself, okay? Stay in tune with your body. Good. If you find multitasking with stretching is a little bit too intense for you, just rest your hands on your hips and then open up your shoulders that way, okay? Stretch out your shoulders and this, this is a little bit safer. All right, good. But if you find, yeah, I can do that. Watch, make, make sure your feet are 12 o'clock. Push forward into space. Leave the hands li uh, limp for a minute. Push forward into space. Feel the tension build up in the back of your lower leg, your calf muscle. Okay, and then lift your arms up, straighten the limbs. So the limbs that are stretching really should be straight with the slightest bend in the uh, joints. Okay, so straight arms or straight limbs for stretching. So that's the leg behind you there, the back leg, and you have both arms. And my neck is nice and relaxed. That's it, good abs are in. I'm gonna push my body forward in space a little bit more now and lift my arms up a little bit more. So even though I'm multitasking with my stretching, I'm focusing on both areas and keeping in tune with both of them. Checking in with them. Relax those arms, come up out of it. Now just sit into a hamstring stretch now. I want you to sit your bum down, okay? Rest your hand on the supporting leg, but not your knee. Okay, just try not to put pressure on your knee joints. Sit your hips down a little bit more. Good. You should feel a little bit of a slight pull there in the back of your hamstring muscle. Good, and again, you shouldn't be in pain. All right, if you're in pain, ease up, ease out of it a little bit. Well done. Okay, switch around. Sit your hips back. Feel that tension build up in the back of your thigh there. You might feel it in around the, the back of the kneecap. It travels up to up close to your bottom. Neck is relaxed. Good, chest is up high. Sit your hip down low. Send your tailbone to the floor. Good. 
And again, if I would advise you to repeat these moves, okay? If you find them uncomfortable, try and do them for 30 seconds and repeat it. Come out of it, go back to the other leg, repeat it, and keep repeating for three rounds. I'd repeat both legs three times for 30 seconds. And then as you get better at it, you can work your way up to holding it for one minute, okay? One minute might be a little bit stressful for anyone starting out. Okay, hip flexors. Right, tilt your hips back. So I want you to imagine your hips are like a bucket of water. The, it's full to the brim with water and I want you to tilt the bucket back behind you where you're spilling the water out behind you. Okay, so go into your stretch, tilt, and then you're automatically lengthening out your hip flexor and your quadricep at the front, your thigh muscle. Okay, and you'll really, really feel a good stretch there. Okay, again, open up your chest here. Really push, push those elbows back behind you. Keep your neck relaxed. You're gonna feel a slight squeeze between your shoulder blades when you do that. All right, because you're stretching out the chest. So that means the back muscles are contracted because the muscles work in pairs. Let's do that again now. So go down into your little lunge. You don't have to lunge too deeply. Hold on, hold on to something. Forget about the upper body and hold on to something if you have to. All right, tilt those hips back. Good work. Now, can you open up the chest? But don't hyperextend your back, keep it straight. If you have a mirror, use it, because it's great feedback. Good, now this is tough if your legs have been worked. Come on up, well done. Will we do the quads today? Feeling a bit tight in front of the body. Now, I'm able to let go of my furniture once I gain my balance. And then I use both hands to draw the foot up towards my bottom. I don't let the knee flare out to the side. Everything is in line. So your knee is in line with your standing leg. Now, if you have to hold on, of course, do that. You just get a really, really increased stretch with the two hands. No yanking and pulling. Ease into it, okay? Ease into it. Let your body do it naturally. That's it. And here's a good, as well, if you can hold on with two hands, you naturally get a good stretch for your shoulders there, the front of your shoulders and your upper pecs, your chest muscles. That's it, good. Neck is relaxed again. Okay, now, this leg's always a bit dodgy for me. Hold on to that foot. Might take you a little while to get into the stretch, but persist, persist, you'll get there. You're working on your balance too, and you're also working on the little stabilizers in your standing leg. It's all good now. Now, once you've regained that balance, or gained that balance even, I want you to try and tilt your hips back here as well, okay? Just like you did with the lunge type stretch a second ago. Tilt them back. Keep the legs close to each other. Neck is relaxed again. Just stressing that with you so you don't build up tension. Good. Let's bend over to one side. Make a big C shape above your head. And you can reach your arm or your, sorry, your hand down your leg. Good. Keep your abs in now tight here. And we'll go over. Again, I just am um, going through the stretches a little bit quicker than I should. But you pause the video and hold them for a little longer or just take note of them and do them yourself. Make a, a big C above your head here. Good work. And I want to say a big thank you, a big clap to you. You did a great job today. I hope you enjoyed that workout. And uh, just leave me any comments, any messages you have down in the comment section below this video. I always answer everybody's comments, as long as they're positive. <laughs> um, and uh, keep yourselves hydrated. I can't stress how important that is, particularly the temperatures are going up here now and I'm building up a good sweat working out. So sip your water throughout the day. Don't be gulping down two, three glasses in one go half a glass maybe at the most, and uh, monitor it yourself. If you're continually running to the bathroom every time you're drinking water, you're drinking too much. So you're only flushing out your uh, hydration and your body's electrolytes, which you need to keep your muscles, uh, to, to help them recover. So again, just drinking small amounts of water throughout the day and eating well. I can't stress how important it is that you must Fill up the plate with those greens, those vegetables that grow above the ground. They're lower in sugar. So that is your broccoli, asparagus, um, kale, spinach, 
anything that you can think of that grows above the ground. The root vegetables tend to be a little bit higher in the sugars, but of course, if you're, if you're not eating confectionery, you're cutting back on all the starchy carbs like pasta, potatoes, rice, all of these things, you can allow yourself um, those uh, vegetables that grow under the ground, the ones that are a little bit higher in sugar. So they're the root vegetables like carrots, turnips, things like that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you back here in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.